The meat this guy is holding is not made from cows. It's not made from plants. It's made from feathers. Feathers of a chicken. <laughs> Who is this guy? Why the hell is he eating feathers? And how does feather taste like? In this small lab in Bangkok is where I found Sora Wood. Hi, my name is Sora Wood, and I found a way to make meat from feathers. One day, Sora Wood was walking past a slaughterhouse when he noticed people throwing away boxes after boxes of chicken feathers. Turns out, when a chicken goes to a meat factory, 90% of it is used as food, and 10% of it is thrown away which might not seem much. But every day, millions of chicken are killed for meat, which means every day, millions of tons of feathers are dumped in landfills or burned away just like that. We lost a lot of resource because like feathers is high protein resource. And I think like we can use this in a better way. So he had one crazy thought. What if we could eat the feathers? It's a crazy question, but turns out we can because chicken feathers are chemically similar to chicken meat. So technically speaking, with a bit of work, you could turn feather into edible meat. You just need to make it taste like meat and look like meat. So, Surawut took some feathers from a slaughterhouse, went to his lab, crushed the feathers, turned them into liquid, put in some food thickeners, mixed them up for a long time, added some spices, put the mixture into an oven, let it cook for hours, and finally, the tasteless feathers were transformed into chicken meat with zero carbs and zero fat. It took me almost a year to finally figure out the right recipe. But he did it. With his method, he made feathers into dishes like this, this, and this. This meal looks like it came from a five-star restaurant kitchen. And the taste? If I, if I wouldn't know, I'd never notice it. It's not real meat. It tastes just like meat. At first, many people rejected Sorawut's idea because they thought that eating feathers was disgusting. But that all changed the moment they had one bite. At the end of the day, what's more disgusting? Chicken feathers or chicken intestines that we already eat? I believe this is the future of the meat because in the future, there won't be enough meat to feed all of us. As our population keeps growing and the need for food grows as well, we need to make more meat alternatives and we need to waste less meat. So instead of using 90% of the chicken, we should be using 100% of it. That's why his invention isn't just a crazy idea, it might actually be good for the world. Now I'm trying to sell this recipe to the restaurants, so maybe one day you can also get a taste of these feathers too. Sorawut may be crazy to try and eat feathers, but sometimes crazy people are the ones who change the world. I think it's the best material for food in the future. I like it. It's my new experience for eating. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Nas Daily. Nas means people in Arabic, humans. And we are on a mission to show you the stories of humans from all around the world. I'm actually very excited about the videos we're working on. So please follow us on Facebook and Instagram so that you don't miss a video. We think everybody in the world should watch them. Thank you and see you soon.